my friends. I am so excited to share something with you that I have been, you know, on a search looking for something and I found it. Okay. And also one of the things that I've been missing since I have been full time in the van. What that is, is been a decent coffee maker. Okay. Because most of us in a small travel setup, you know, van or, you know, some something small like this, um, we use a coffee method using something like this, and it's called a Melita, and it goes on top of your cup or your mug, and then we make our coffee. You've probably seen a lot, lot of people out there, you know, on YouTube in this lifestyle using something like this. The downfall is, is that when you make your coffee, you have to boil your water. Then you put your, you know, you get, get everything set up and your filter and everything. Then you're pouring your water. The downfall is it could take like 15 minutes to make a cup of coffee. Okay, and especially I make one out of a mug, which this is 20 ounces, and I make my coffee for the whole day. I just like to be done with it. So I will make, you know, 20 ounces. I've cut back. I used to make two of these in one day, so I have cut back. I do one, so I drink half of it in the morning, and then I drink the rest of it later on at about 5, 6 o'clock when I'm ready for just a little, little bit of a boost again. So, you know, that's that's why I make a lot in the morning, and then it takes 15 minutes. Well, when it is moving day, especially moving day, it doesn't work. I mean, you're trying to make coffee. It takes 15 minutes. Then you're trying to eat. There's 25 minutes of your morning. And on moving day, that's been pretty tough, too. But even on a, you know, on a, a just a regular day, a morning. Um, it's just I was thinking I really would like to have my coffee faster than you know what I've been having to try to do with this thing. And another thing I was thinking if I could find some kind of electric type coffee maker, it would also save on propane too. I have a 15 watt inverter which runs off you know the bat the battery. And the battery gets refueled, obviously, by the, by my solar. So it's a win-win situation. You know, I'm, I'm using the sun, using the solar, and uh, my inverter and everything, and getting to make coffee, save my propane. So win-win in so many, so many ways. But I didn't want some big coffee maker. And I remember a long time ago that I saw a coffee maker in a store or a certain style that I that I'd seen, and I started searching for this type of coffee maker that I'd saw. Well, I can't find it anywhere. I'm looking in all the different stores. I'm not seeing it because, of course, you know the the K cups have definitely gotten more popular. But in this type of a, a setup, you know, or at least small I'm talking small van type or RV setup it doesn't work because the K cups take too much space okay and we're always concerned about space and it's not economical too the, as far as I'm concerned and I have had one and so um, you know and, and I would use them occasionally but not for an everyday use it would be very expensive to make a mug of my size out of uh, you know cake ups so I started to go online we were going to order some stuff and I thought well maybe I can find something since we're in a um, an area where we can get some deliveries in town and pick some stuff up and I got online and I am so excited. I found what I am looking for that I couldn't find in the store, but they still sell them online. Okay, so let me show you. I'm so excited what I finally found and what I saw before. So this is what I ended up getting is the Mr. Coffee 
and they call it Pour, Brew, and Go. And this is exactly what I was looking for that I saw in the stores years ago, okay, and was with the mug style. Now, why I wanted this style was, again, the size, because it's smaller, more compact. Um, you don't have to worry about anything getting broken. The, the thing about with, you know, my lifestyle, or what I do with the van is I go down dirt roads. I go down BLM land and forest uh, um, roads and stuff like that. So... I didn't want anything with a uh, carafe, you know, that was going to have anything glass or get broken because that was a consideration. So this has, you know, nothing that's breakable. Don't have to worry about that. It's not fragile. And uh, the other thing about this particular brand or Mr. Coffee is it has a 16 ounce mug. Now, there was another style out there that I saw, um, similar with the mug style, but it had a 14-ounce mug, and I wanted as close to my 20-ounce mug that I, I could get, and so this one had 16 ounces. The cool thing about the Mr. Coffee is it also came in different colors. You could get the, you know, the black one, on the all black, or this one here has more of the white housing. Um, and then uh, the uh, the color is actually uh, this part here, that's the red here, would be the same color that, that the mug is. And it came in blue, uh, orange, you know, a couple different colors. I think there's like a greenish one. And then, of course, this is the red one. And I picked the red because I have red going on inside my van. The other great advantage about this is that you don't have any uh, filters. You don't have to use any filters. So um, you get to save money on filters. That was another plus. So it's really a win-win situation in many different ways, okay? Why I ended up, you know, definitely going with this particular uh, uh, brand, okay? All right, so I am so excited to finally open it up, take it out, and get it set up i'll show it to you and then we'll have i'll have my coffee in the morning just got to plug it in and hit that button and be ready to go i could set it up the night before and just about have almost my coffee ready in the morning all right so let's go take a peek at it all right so here's my mr coffee maker and it has a really nice insulated mug very very heavy duty it's very strong and then it has a max fill line that's in the inside so you know how much water to put in it and then it comes with the um reusable coffee ground basket or you can use this one by itself and use a store-bought one it's, it takes a number four cup style if you would, you know, prefer to do that and just use the disposable one, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because the more I thought about the reusable one, uh, this is going to be hard to clean in a van. And I don't think I want to go that method the more I thought about it. So I'll probably, you know, buy the, the store-bought one. This makes easy cleanup. You just grab it and throw it away. So I kind of like that. All right. And then it has a little place in the back that you can hang the lid that goes to the mug. So that's kind of sweet little setup there. So it's very pretty. I really like it. It's a vibrant, vibrant color red here. It's very pretty. And the only downfall is the cord. The cord is two feet. And I knew that when I bought it, but I wasn't too concerned because I can run an extension cord over to my inverter, which is just on the end of the counter. So it's not, not too far. My inverter at the end of the cabinet 
yeah so it just has to go from there right down over to there so not too far so it should be fine all right so i'm looking forward to having my coffee in the morning i will see you then night night and i'll let you know how things worked out in the morning when i have my coffee all right good morning got it on so we'll see what happens <laughs> Okay, it looks like um, it doesn't have a warming plate because it does turn off automatically. So you want to grab your cup of coffee if you want it hot as quickly as you can. <laughs> so you have to keep that in mind if you, anybody else loves this and wants to get it. And usually that's what you're going to do. It's only going to brew enough for, for your morning. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to get my coffee together and see how it you know how it did and i love just there's something about still that brewed coffee that is so much better than the pour over all right so let's let me go fix it up real quickly all right good morning everyone we're having coffee together <laughs> yeah that's what i feel like um it is so wonderful i can't say how good that was just to have coffee within a couple of minutes and not having to do that pour over for, you know, for my large mug, you know, 15 minutes to, you know, between the boiling the water and pouring, you know, uh, the water through the uh, drip. Oh my gosh, this was just within two minutes, you know, um, turned it on and voila, I had my coffee in a couple of minutes. So we're having coffee together. I feel like it. And the coffee is, there's just something about brewed coffee. I'm telling you over that poor drip. Um, really, it's a difference. The only thing I could say that I don't like about it is, or I'm just not used to, is the high-rise sipper. Mine is, you know, really low. So that is the only thing that I can say that I'm going to have to get used to that because that is a big difference. I've had one of these these Starbuck ones. I just love love this um, mug. I've had it for the first one for about like five years or six years, and then I went and got another one a year ago before I hit the road. And they actually, I, if I remember this particular style or you know color and everything, they um, stopped making them so they had a few left in the back so i almost was going to grab a few of them but i i did only grab one but i just love it because it has the wide mouth and you could clean it easy and another thing i look for when i'm you know in a van and with cleanup is how many threads are in here because you don't want to be oh my gosh trying to clean in between things and and is, is it hard to clean in around the sipper mechanism? Because we're always always trying to conserve water. So those are things that you're really going to be looking for. And what I've always looked for with a coffee mug. And this one here is, again, it has hardly any, hardly any threads. I still have to clean it, sorry. <laughs> Um, but I mean, this part, it just cleans really easy. The inside, there's just nothing, no mechanisms. There's nothing to clean. And that's important, especially I use the vinegar method to clean and stuff. So this one here um, is also, I've got to say, should be very easy because the lid is just flips over. Uh, you don't have a lot of, you know, those kind I'm talking about where you have to push a button and something flips up. Those kind of things don't work as far as in a van keeping things clean if you're trying to conserve water. So this one here, see, very simple, very easy. The threads are wide, they're not real tight together, so it's gonna be super easy to clean. So I give it definitely thumbs up on that, okay? Because those are things, uh, when you're on the road, or if you're already on the road, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so this is definitely, you know, three thumbs up or four, <laughs> five, what, out of one of five, five over that issue. Um, so the only thing is just getting 
used to the zipper, which that's nothing. I'll, I'll definitely deal with that if I want to grab and go and, you know, things like that. Then it's, it's not that hard to get used to it. I will. All right. So other than that, I love it. I, I, I love so many things about it. Definitely. It was so wonderful. Oh my gosh. At a one to five, five to have my coffee in the morning and just hit a button. So I'm really happy about that. All right. And it's an insulated mug. I mean, can't, can't go wrong with that. And it does come apart. I guess you can thoroughly clean a lot of things with it. It has this bottom comes off too. So everything comes apart if you need to thoroughly clean everything. So, um, which I can't imagine really needing to do that. Or maybe they have replacement parts or something. So there is a lock and unlock. So this bottom comes off. And you'll see in the instructions that it comes apart. You know, which is kind of cool. I've never seen anything like that. Or maybe the outer part if that was to break. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that was another thing about this. All right, so I hope you enjoyed watching my new Mr. Coffee maker. And if you're on the go and you, you've got means of electrical, definitely, I love it. I, I really do. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm not, you know, being paid or nothing to endorse their product. It was just on the whim, saw what I wanted, bought it went with it and so super happy with it all right so i love you all and i'll see you in the next video